And here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to BWTM Sports in association with Round for Round Boxing. Round for Round Boxing, the new boxing game that's in development as we speak. Some of the greatest fighters in the world are joining Round for Round Boxing. Check it out, www.roundforroundboxing.com. And also check out with it um, BWTM Sports, the official channel for Round for Round Boxing. The trailer coming out shortly. Stick with us at BWTM Sports. We'll be showing you that as well. And also our new partner, Three Kings Boxing. All those things you want to know about boxing, the latest breaking news, check out Three Kings Boxing. ThreeKingsBoxing.com. www.threekingsboxing.com. And if you're on Facebook, check them out. They're on Facebook too. Three Kings Boxing. Right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to BWTM Sports. This is our live audio commentary or radio commentary of the big fight tonight. The return of Tyson Fury versus Francesco Pianetta. And of course, Carl Frampton versus Luke Jackson. Earlier on tonight, um, Paddy Barnes fought Rosales and unfortunately got knocked out. I was watching the fight earlier and personal opinions was that I felt that Barnes took the wrong approach against Rosales, a man that was physically bigger than him and that was stronger than him. I felt that Barnes, who only had one knockout to his to his career as a professional, took the wrong approach, took the fight to Rosales. He wasn't a puncher and uh, he was he was forced into a fight by um, Rosales and Barnes lost that fight the moment that he decided to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rosales. Instead of him trying to box and try and fill his way to a points win, instead he decided to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guy who was bigger and strong. For Listen, from round one, when Rosales hit Barnes on the chin, you, you knew it was only going one way because Barnes was getting con constantly being rocked. So that body shot, well, that was just the beginning of the end. It, it was like, it was like a, in a schoolyard, watching those two guys fight, it was like a schoolyard, the school bully, uh, face, facing the the uh, smallest kid in the school, that's what he looked like to me. From, I just felt sorry for for Paddy Barnes. Fair play, he went to give it his all. But if he really wanted to fight for a world title, I think he should have prepared himself more, took a bit more time to fight better opponents, and really prepare himself for a world title shot. You know, now he's got a defeat in his record. Yeah, he can come back, but will he be the same fighter? Will he want to be the same fighter? What will happen with his career in the future? Who knows? Now, the two fighters that are in the ring, uh, Warburton and Crocker, have come to an end of their fight. So next in the ring will be Tyson Fury, probably in the next 10 to 15 minutes. We all know the story of Tyson Fury, the first fight, which was here. We did the audio commentary for that. Since then, Tyson Fury has lost a considerable amount of weight, 18. They say it's 18. He was, he's down to 18 and a half stone now. Um... Visibly, for me, looking at Tyson Fury, his body does not look the same as it did when he was, when the, the Klitschko era. But, you know, that guy is gone now. Now we have a Tyson Fury um, that we still have to see how good this Tyson Fury is tonight. He fights Francesco Pianetta. The thing about Pianetta is this. Pianetta has the opportunity to mess the whole script up and go on and beat Tyson Fury. He has the real opportunity to do that. Um, whether he'll do that or not is another matter altogether. You would think Tyson Fury, based on his skill set, would beat Pianetta. The thing with this fight, it's all really down to Pianetta, because if Pianetta comes in and gives Tyson a, hard, a good fight, you know, that'll give Tyson some good rounds under his belt, which is what he'll need going into a fight against Deontay Wilder. But Pianetta does not prepare you for um, Deontay Wilder. Pianetta is, what, 245, 250 against a guy in Wilder who is 215, 220 at his most. And, you know, we've just seen pictures here of um, Ronald McIntosh talking to Deontay Wilder. So back to my point, Deontay Wilder being 215. Uh, so he's going to have tremendous speed and that punch power. So, you know, I'm not sure how Pianetta prepares Tyson Fury for Deontay Wilder, it gives him rounds. But, of course, when you're fighting a guy like Deontay Wilder, it's 215. Freakishly um, small in terms of weight for a heavyweight.
but has incredible power. And that has also to do with the speed as well. So this is going to be some things that Tyson Fury, he would, Fury would never have thought somebody who is as fast and hits as hard as, as Wilder. Whereas, uh, whereas Wilder may not have fought anyone who is t technically as uh, gifted or potentially anyone who's as awkward and unpredictable as Tyson Fury. But, um, you know, remains to be seen. We can't really talk about Wilder Fury at the moment because Fury now has a man to beat, which is Pianetta. And again, depending on, we don't even know what sort of frame Pianetta is going to be in. Is it possible he can cause an upset? It's going to be very, very interesting. So good evening to the people that are in the room tonight. Shout out to you all. Um, so massive shout out to you all. Um, I was, again, looking at Tyson Fury in, in the camp, in like behind the scenes in the dressing room. He looks slower. To, for me, he looks slower. He did look slower. Yes, Cairo. Uh, Cairo. Um, he looks slower to me in the dressing room. Even though he's going through his stuff and doing all the footwork and doing all the stuff he did again, you know, for you know, when he was doing against Klitschko, he looks like a guy who's who slowed considerably. He doesn't seem to have the same reflexes that he had against Klitschko. So it's gonna be very, very, very interesting. I hope you all can hear me very clearly tonight as well. Um, we have made adjustments and improvements to our radio. Shout out to James Jones, Lawrence Williams, BK, Honest Boy, Bob uh, 45. Um, Cairo, uh, my man who started the room in the beginning, talking to me about sour sup. I love my Irish moss. Um, my Osula, shout out to you, Benjamin VW. When's it gonna start? It's starting, brother. There's Tyson now, he's just in the change room now, moving around. And you see Tyson, if you look at him carefully, you can still see like the upper part of his chest moving around. So there's still some excess weight on the body, but he has got down to that weight. 28 stone is shifted down to 18 stone. That's a lot of weight to lose in a very short space of time. It's going to be very interesting to see how Tyson does in the later rounds of a fight. It's all right talking about Gypsy King and all this stuff. The fitness has to, you know, we have to see how, how good he does. Anyone can look good on pads. Anyone can look good on pads, but it's what Tyson does. Fight night is going to be interesting. That's what we need to see. Against a decent heavyweight. Now, you know, Pianetta is not world, no world beater. Let's get something category clear here. He's not a world beater. Pianetta is not a world beater. He's a European, double uh, European champion. Um, but he's not a world beater. So, you know, I, I've had this debate with a few people already online. And one of the debates was, oh, well, you know, Wilder's not going to hit uh, Fury. And I said to them, can you explain to me how you've come to that conclusion? Because for me, Fury is very gifted, but he's not, he's not Mayweather. And even Mayweather, in even the height and the best Mayweather and the most sharpest Mayweather, he still got hit. So, I mean, you know, and it's not bums that were hitting Mayweather. So, I mean, or guys who couldn't fight. These are top, the top, some of the top guys in the division that were catching Mayweather. So I don't, I'm not of the belief that Wilder's not going to hit Fury. It's just what happens when Fury gets hit by Wilder, of course, will be very interesting. It'll be very, very interesting. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, shout me out. Chris Precock, always have you, always. Tune in to your show. You're the best. Chris Peacock. Big shout out to Chris Peacock. Uh, remember, Wilder swing, swing, swing. Tyson step aside, uppercut. Good night. Well, he's going to have to do that. Tyson Fury is going to have to do that against him, the fastest man he's ever fought in his career. There's nobody in uh, Tyson Fury's career that moves as fast as Deontay Wilder. He, you know, you can, and Tyson Fury has slowed. I, I, you know, there has to be an element of reality here. I mean, there are some people out in the world that have made T uh, Tyson Fury into Muhammad Ali, Joe Louis, Mike Tyson, um, Floyd Mayweather, you know, and, you know, that is pretty ridiculous. I mean, Tyson's a talented fighter, yes. 
But can he be hit? Yes, he can be hit. Can he be dropped? Yes, he can be dropped. And for all the stuff people say about Wilder's chin and Wilder being chinny, you know, um, he got hit with some pretty good shots against Luis Ortiz. And other guys have gone down to Luis Ortiz. So, you know, he's done pretty well for himself, Deontay Wilder. So we'll see. We'll see. The problem is people keep saying Deontay Wilder's a swinger. But what they keep forgetting is that knockout ratio. He has knocked every man out that he's fought. Every man he's fought, he has knocked out. That is something. I don't know if Fury's ever fought somebody like that either. So people are forgetting all these facts. They just, they did. Some people are just so caught up in their fighter that they don't look at the other factors to coming into this fight. The punching power of Deontay Wilder. The light, how light Wilder will be coming into this fight. The other factor is, all that weight Fury's taken off. It's got to have an effect on the body. And also the later rounds. Can Fury do 12 rounds? And how does he do 12 rounds? And will he tire doing 12 rounds? All of these questions. Will he get up? Well, he got up against Cunningham. And he got up against Pycheck. But this is not Pycheck. And this is not um, Cunningham. Cunningham was cruiserweight. Who made his, who's moving up to heavyweight. He's a cruiserweight. You know what I mean, and Cunningham wasn't a puncher at a cruiserweight. So we would it would have been interesting to see. You know, it will be interesting to see. Let's see how Tyson does against uh Pianetta first. That's what I want to see. Okay, this is it. The uh special attraction. Of the evening. I don't even know if this is a 10 round bout or a 12 round bout. But um, they're just advertising Golovkin Canelo 2. So it should be interesting. So we're just watching images here of Canelo and Golovkin going back and forth at one another. So. So we're just waiting now for the entrance of the two fighters. It'll be interesting to see what Pianetta does. Now, if Pianetta comes out now and doesn't do anything and doesn't give Tyson a fight, then that's not good for Tyson. And if Pianetta falls over in the first couple of rounds, that's not good for Tyson either. So basically, Tyson would have a couple of rounds uh, and then <sighs> Tyson would have a couple of rounds, or a few rounds, you know. And then going into world class up uh, a, a world class fight against Deontay Wilder. The top ten British heavyweights in the last twelve months by Steve Bunce: Joshua White, Huey Fury, Bellew, Derek Chisora, Tyson Fury, Sam Sexton, Dave Allen, Daniel Dubois, and Dan and Joe Joyce. That's for the last twelve months. That's Steve Bunce's top ten British heavyweights interesting anybody got any views on that yes trap house boxing good to see you in the room brother how's it going over there are you any thoughts on this fight tonight between fury and uh pianetta i was just saying that um it's important that fury gets good rounds against pianetta but you see he's in that difficult position if he goes a lot of rounds against Pianetta, a guy that got knocked up by Kevin Johnson, then you could say he's going rounds, but then you could also say it's not a good, great performance. So Fury's got a very, it just, it just depends on what the game plan is tonight for Fury. Is it about getting rounds? Is it about going out and looking spectacular? What is the game plan for Fury tonight when he goes out and fights against Francesco Pianetta? What is the game plan? I mean, surely that the, the game plan would be to look good um, and not get hit and and secure that fight if Wilder would be entertaining in the process. I don't know. And we still have to see what this 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 Ben Davidson era, era is. What does Tyson Fury at his best look like under Ben Davidson? We know what Tyson Fury looked like 
in the era of Peter Fury. We now need to see what Tyson will look like under Ben Davidson. Something else that a lot of boxing fans seem to have forgotten. That, you know, trainers have a significant input on a fighter's life, you know. Uh, Tyson will win, but will but still got to be hard on him so he stays focused, says James Jones. The title seems to have tied to the turn. Joshua is now seen as a ducker. Well, I said the tide would turn, and it's turning. So nobody's going to care about Joshua. If Wilder and Fury fight, nobody's going to give a damn about Joshua, apart from Joshua supporters. But, you know, Joshua's got serious confidence pro issues when it comes to uh, Deontay Wilder. As far as I'm concerned, he has. Um, you can you can you can say what you want. All you need to do is look at when he was in America and when he was at that basketball game. And he was at a basketball game and they had the camera on him. That was the moment when they the guy called him Anthony Johnson. Right? If you look at Joshua's eyes, he was looking around, he was surveying the, the stadium. He was looking around like a man who was worried that Deontay Wilder was gonna turn up in the arena somewhere. People are out jumping and dancing around. It kind of reminds me of the stadium of when uh, Klitschko and David Hay fought all those years ago, uh, minus the rain. So I'd like to say this is the main event. Can you believe it? Tyson Fury, the unified, heavy, the unified heavyweight champion of the world, the linear heavyweight champion of the world, is undercard to Carl Frampton. Can you believe this? In 2018, if somebody had told you that, you wouldn't believe it. So you've got here Deontay Wilder still talking to Ron, Mac Ron McIntosh. I never get hard on him. I'm not gay, says Maradona. He's scared of Wilder's right hand. Well, who isn't? Who isn't? Wilder needs this fight to happen. We've seen heavyweight, but you know, we've seen heavyweight fights in the past, yeah, where people have come to see people fight. One of the most, I think one of the most spectacular ones was Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson had agreed to fight. And Holyfield was in the audience and he'd agreed to fight um, Mike Tyson in principle. And Mike Tyson went and fought James Buster Douglas. <laughs> and like Evander Holyfield's there expecting Tyson to beat James Buster Douglas. And then when asked, uh, when asked the question, oh, he says that's thirty million down down the drain. Tyson Fury making his way to the ring. Deontay Wilder on camera talking, and then they're switching to Tyson Fury, and then we see Nez there from the Boxing Voice. So Deontay Wilder still on, on, on talking to Ronald McIntosh. So I don't know what he's talking about exactly, but he obviously understands the importance of it. So going back to Holyfield and and, and uh, Tyson and Douglas. So Holyfield when asked, he said, that was 30 million down the drain. So uh, he's there turning around and you've just watched the guy who's going to bring you 30 to 40 million or 50 million. <laughs> you've, you've, you've flown into from Atlanta to watch this for to Tokyo to watch Tyson fight Douglas. And then Tyson goes and gets goes and up laying on the canvas. So, I mean, you know, it's happened in heavyweight boxing before unfavored fighters ripping up the script. Oh, uh, Ingram, why is Wilder wear, still wearing that thing on his head? Is it a Masonic thing that they do down the lodge? I ain't no idea. I wouldn't know that, mate. I don't know idea. I know he's got his bandana on, which is just Wilder-like. Has Brig made, Briggs made an appearance? That's only something he's paid for his plane ticket. He don't look so. Because where was Briggs meant to be? Briggs was meant to be. Briggs should have been at the press conference. He wasn't at the press conference. And I don't know why somebody would be paying for Briggs' ticket anyway. Waiting to see if Fury 
has his time but has his time back. I don't know. I didn't like what I was seeing in the dressing room. Uh Cairo says because he wants to do it on his head. I guess so, that's fair enough. Okay. Making his way to the ring. Dressed in white from the Quan Boxing Club or Quan Boxing. Francesca Pianetta. Pianetta at the moment is uh, in white t shirt, black trunks. He's just standing waiting to be called to ring. And here comes Pianetta walking to ring. I'm looking at his body language. Can't tell what's going on in Pianetta's mind at the moment. Could be one of his poker face. Sometimes you can tell by a guy's body language the way he's walking to ring. I think he's soaking up the atmosphere. He's taking a very slow walk to the ring. He looks the way he's walking to the ring is like a guy, like a like a lamb going to slaughter. It's like he knows it, it, it's his time now, or it's time to be slaughtered. That's what Pianetta looks like at the moment. He does not look like a guy. That's about the business. He looks like a guy who's walking to the ring. Um, well, thoughtful. Let's put it this way. McTresha says, Pianetta is not there to compete. Well, in comes Pianetta to the ring. He does. He puts his fist to the air and says, "I'm not sure." Yeah, well, yeah. No big uh, heroics by him coming to the ring. It's very, uh, very casual. Pianetta, very, very casual. But do you, I? Don't, I wonder if Pianetta and his team realise that if they beat Tyson Fury, just for a second, because it's not impossible. If Pianetta were to beat Tyson Fury tonight. Does that make Pina a delinear heavyweight champion of the world? And if so, how does that work out? Because Pina got knocked up by Klitschko. Let's just hope it doesn't happen. Let's just hope it just does not happen. People are always saying that he's not there. He's there to make Tyson look great. Seen there, Tyson with his big brother behind him. The lights are all on Tyson. And here comes the Gypsy King. Making his way to ring the Gypsy King. If you want to watch the fight, you can watch the fight live on BT Sports. Pianetta becomes the linear champion, but nobody rates him. Oh, dear. Tyson Fury with his arms out, almost in a Christ-like pose. Black robe. Winging out punches. Bouncing. Hands in the air. That's a bit more like it. A bit more animated. Here comes Tyson Fury to the ring, bouncing around. Lights going off inside of Belfast and Tyson's really boldly to the ring. Like a street thug, Tyson's bouncing his way to the ring. And Fury's just, Wilder's just there. Just nodding in there back and forth to the music. Fury's got his hands out. All the lights on. He's up, both hands in the air. Smiling, everyone. Yeah, and Wilder's just bouncing his head back and forth. You know, I'm seeing Tyson bouncing his way to the ring, and it all seems a bit odd for me because it's not the sort of thing I see from Tyson. But, you know, yes, he's cheering, he's got the crowd going. Of course, he's in Belfast, so it's home for him, and he's bouncing away. I don't know what music's been played. But over the ropes, in comes the Gypsy King. 
we have a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Tyson Fury and Pianetta are both in the ring. We're just waiting for the introductions. They're bouncing to the ring and all this stuff. Sometimes when people do things like that, it, it covers their, their like nerves. And I know Tyson openly admitted in his fight before that he was lacking confidence. Not lacking confidence, but more he, was, he wasn't sure of himself. You know, he wasn't sure of himself. He'd been out for so long. He wanted to know if he still had it. So, if I'm Pianetta, I'd go right out first round and try and put one on Tyson's chin if I'm Pianetta. There's, hello, that will make damn near wilder cry. I like this. Maybe another circus act. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, let's look at the stats. Tyson, 30. Um, Peanut at 33. Six foot eight and a half. Peanut at six foot five. 18 stone, six pound. 18 stone, two pound for Peanetta. 85 each reach. And uh, Peanut at 80 each reach. Uh, and the style, well, Tyson, Southpaw to Orthodox. And, of course, you know Peanetta is a Southpaw. I'll get you re the records when uh, they've both been announced. No one even walked up for Pianetta. I agree with by himself. Yeah, just watching uh, the stream at the moment. I'm not even a stream. I'm talking about stream. Watching on my screen on BT Sports. Um, I know, but nobody knows the password here, so I can't see. It. Yeah, very funny. Sometimes you can tell Tyson tries a bit too hard to come across as the cool hip guy. He does. Work sometimes, other times just looks corny. He looked very corny to me coming to the ring then, very corny. But he's got Billy Joe Saunders in his corner, of course. So, you know, good old Billy Joe. And the old chicken incident with Deontay Wilder. Very, very interesting. All right, now, down to the serious business. Let's uh, get these records together. Okay, now looking at Pianetta, there's a different look in Pianetta's face now. There's a look of a bit more seriousness. In the red corner, his record is 35 fights, 21 wins, 4 defeats, and 1 draw, Francesco Pianetta. And in the blue corner. Let's see. The Gypsy King. Tyson Fury doing the pose of Deontay Wilder. He's got his hands in a cross. So here's the record. Tyson Fury, 26 fights, 90 by KO. He is the linear. Heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. So we've got a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for joining in. This is BWTM Sports live audio commentary. Fury versus Pianetta. The script is Tyson should win this fight. And set up that big money fight between himself. Tyson talking to Pianetta. Pianetta smiling. Tyson still talking to Pianetta. To set up that big money show then. The super fight that Joshua didn't want against Deontay Wilder, who is in the audience. And I think he's commentating as well. I think we're going to get a decent fight. I think. We're at Windsor Park, Belfast. In the UK, Northern Ireland. And we're off. Tyson comes running across the ring against Pianetta, but then settles back. Pops out the jab. Pianetta's got his hands up, Southpaw style. He's got his hands up tight. Tyson flicking out the jab, flicking out the jab, then puts a straight right hand across. Tyson just flicking the jab out, holds the ring rope with one hand and flicks out a jab to Pianetta. Pianetta closes the range down against Tyson. I'm walking him and gets him. Tyson gets himself out the ropes. Tyson whips two to the body 
and then spins off. Pianetta trying to close the range down against Tyson Fury here. Just walk, trying to walk Tyson down. Pina tries a big left hand. Now it's got Tyson against ropes and Tyson slipping left and right. And Pianetta trying to hit Tyson. And Tyson throws a combination, spins Pianetta. And Pianetta says, come on. Tyson whipped off a four or five punch combination there. There wasn't much power behind it, but it looked impressive enough. But Pianetta tried to hit Tyson with a straight left there. Tyson needs to be careful. Big left hand, two left hands there from Pianetta. Ty Both of them hit Tyson. Pianetta walking forward, slowly, slowly, inching his way forward, hands tight. To me, it looks like he's just looking to get close to Tyson and let his left hand go. Tyson working two to the body there. Straight right hand from Tyson. Pianetta throws a little right hook. Tyson blocks it. Tyson, big right hand there from Tyson. Peanut just calls him in. Peanut says, come on, come on, come on. Tyson went to the body. Tries a the left there, Pianetta. Try to get close to, to Tyson. Pianetta, Tyson spins him, hits him right to the body. Tyson flicking the jab, keeping the jab in Pianetta's face. He's just turned, I think he's turned the southpaw now. I can't quite tell. Looks like Tyson's turned southpaw now to Pianetta. He's turned southpaw, Tyson. He's in the southpaw stance, holding on with the right hand. And Pianetta has now thrown a combination against Tyson. And Tyson just holds him up. Tyson flicking the jab. Tyson, why is Tyson holding one, throws a one, two? And then here's Peanut throws one, two against Tyson. Why does Tyson keep insisting on holding one of the ropes? He holds the rope and throws it with the other hand. The two touch gloves at the end of the first round. It's quite puzzling. Tyson's holding the rope with either his left hand or his right hand and then throwing punches. Is that actually allowed in boxing? Just a reminder for those tuning in, this is an audio commentary. There is no visual. If you want visual, check it out on BT. You've seen stuff from the first round there from... This is round two now. Straight right hand there from Fury. Is he back in the southpaw stance yet? No, he's back in the, he's back in conventional stance now. The jab. With the orthodox style now. Dub pouring out the jab, Fury, and throwing a straight right hand through the middle of Pianetta's guard. Pianetta still walking Tyson down, and then throws a straight left to the head of Tyson. Pianetta still. Walking Tyson down, throws a left and a right combination. Tyson ties him up. Leans on Pianetta. Ruffy separates them. And then they go again. Three pops out the jab. And a one, two. Pianetta blocks that. Pianetta blocking up the shots. Well, Tyson just popping the jab, popping the jab, keeping the jab in Pianetta's face. 
Playing the patient game, Pianetta. Tyson doing some nice body work there. Here, here comes Pianetta with a combination to, to Tyson's body there. Nice straight left hand there from Pianetta. Pianetta tried a big left there, but Tyson just moved out of the way of it. Jab for Tyson. Just popping the jab. Jab, jab, jab. And Peanut is just behind the tight guard. He's not taking too much punishment, actually. But he's looking to unload a left hand. Throws another left hand there, Pianetta. Oh, that's a nice left hand there from Pianetta. That seemed to get Tyson's attention. Tyson needs to be careful against Pianetta, though. This is round two. One, two from Tyson through the guard of Pianetta. Pianetta says, come on, come on. Pianetta's just got his, his hands up and just walking Tyson to ropes. In the round, they touch gloves again. So, injured castle rounds for Tyson Fury and, and, and Pianetta. Um, Pianetta, it looks to me, they just tuck it up tight and walking Tyson, try and walk Tyson to ropes. I don't know if the strategy of Pianetta and his team are to try and take Tyson to the, the later rounds of the fight. I'm not sure. Now, I know he caught, he did seem to catch Tyson with a left hand. I don't know if that hurt Tyson or Tyson was off balance. I couldn't quite tell, but he definitely got Tyson's attention. After six or seven rounds, this fight will be interesting to see what Tyson's fitness is like if he goes that long. This is round three. Straight left hand from Peanut. Peanut is just looking for the left hand. Trying a tight guard and just, just really letting the left hand go. Tyson throws, jab to the body, jab to the head. One, two, three, four from Tyson. Does put his punch together nicely there. Pianetta throws a big left there. And another one. Pianetta takes a big gulp of breath as he tries to, as Tyson's against the ropes. He has Tyson against the ropes, Tyson. Pianetta tries a big looping left that just goes on the back of Tyson's shoulder. Tyson slipped that one nicely. Nice combination from Tyson, but Pianetta's catching it on his gloves. Nice little shot inside there from Pianetta. Tyson goes back to the orthodox stance using the jab. Tyson needs to be careful of Peanut's left hand. He really does need to be careful of that. Tyson working well on the inside, throwing uppercuts to the body and to the head. Nice little short sucks inside. Tyson's holding Peanut with one hand and hitting him with the other. Nice work there from Tyson on the inside. Three double up the jab there. Peanut are missing with a straight left. There's some good stuff there with Fury. He is, does work in the body well. Here comes Peanut. has got Fury against the ropes. And then leans on Fury. I'm not quite sure what the, the, the game plan of Peanut is. Is it to tie Fury out? Peanut is backing up against the ropes. I don't know if he's tired, he's trying to take a breather, or he's trying to lure Tyson in. I'm not sure. But he didn't get hit with anything. Peanut again. Tyson holds the, ro the rope. I don't know what the referee's not said something to about Tyson using that rope. Nice straight left there from Pianetta. 
Tyson just throwing little, a good little combination there from Pianetta. While Tyson was throwing some pity patty punches on the ropes. For those people who said that Wilder wouldn't hit Tyson Fury on the chin. Good little combination. Nice little shot uppercut inside there from Tyson Fury. Tyson went to do a mini bolo there. Nice classy combination here from Fury. In terms of hand speed, uh, putting short punches together, nice from Fury. That was good. I like that. Um, but there's a lot of pitter patter stuff there from Fury using the jab. Uh, good work to the body. He does. He does mix up nicely from body to head. Fury, and he does work very well on the inside as well. So, good stuff from Fury. Not. Um, amazing stuff, just good stuff, consistent, workmanlike. This is round four. Fury versus Pianetta. Nice body shot there. I'm to you, I mean. I mean, people have got to look at this and say, this is the this is this with a, a guy who lost a little bit more weight. This is the Fury that's going to be facing Deontay Wilder. You know, this is what people got to think of themselves. Here goes Pianetta. I find a combination on the inside. Nice combination here from Fury. Pianetta says, come on. Tyson throws a two-punch combination there. You know, it digs a body shot in there. And then another left hand. I'd like to see Pinnett stop going to Tyson's head work, go to his body. Pinnett is tucking up, tucking up tight, trying to get close to Tyson. I don't know if Pinnett is trying to wait until the second half of the fight. It's a 10 round fight. We'll know after round five whether Pinnett is trying to take this long. At the moment, there's there's nothing to suggest that Tyson Fury is going to knock Pianetta out at this point. At the moment, there's nothing Tyson's hit Pianetta with in the first four rounds that's made Pianetta look like he's going to get hurt. Good combination there. But Pianetta just ties, just tucks up, takes the shots, and then tries to throw a combination himself. Jab from Pianetta. Double jab there from Tyson and a right hand, it looks. That straight right hand. Fight is very much one paced, I've got to say. Peanut are just walking Tyson to the ropes and throws a combination one to the body, one to the head from Pianetta. Tyson slipped the second straight. That's a good straight left hand there from Pianetta. I'll be reading your comments at the end of the round. End of the round. Okay. Maradona says Tyson still looks rusty. Pierre not not faced at all, says Cairo. Maradona, Maradona says P needs Peter. This Ben guy's a joke. But Tresha says yes, Tyson's not ready for Wilder. Matt B says Tyson's getting caught a bit a lot. Wilder just needs one of those to knock him into oblivion. That's what I've been saying. But Tresha, uh, Tyson falling into ropes a bit too much. That's prime position for a barrage of windmill. Ha ha. 
Uh, T T Fury can only beat Wilder on points. That's it. Wilder's got his baby says Cairo. Hello, Pitter Patty. Tyson, not as, elu not as elusive as before, needs Peter. Uh, Cairo says, Peter, uh, Ingram, you should be there. People can hear your patois. Charm in our talk. No, nonsense. <laughs> I should do a round like that, shouldn't I? Some guy on Twitter said to me, uh, um, Wilder would not land on Tyson Fury. Brother, you're tough. But anyway, there's Pianetta. Pianetta Fury. Proper nonsense. Here comes Pianetta. This is the, I wonder if we're going to see a Pianetta train from round five. Let's see. Pianetta coming forward now. Well, he was coming forward for the whole, the whole his fight, but is he going to fight with any more sort of... Oh, here we go. Something kicking off there. I don't know in the background there. People are throwing something. I don't know what it is. Or people got their hands raised for something. I don't know what it is. A nice combination of from Fury. Stuff being thrown. I don't know what the hell it is that's being thrown. Ah, it might be starting to rain. That might be what it is. Oh, I see. People are getting themselves ready because it's starting to rain. You can see people are putting th uh, things. I think it looks like it's starting to rain. I don't know. Double jab from Fury. It throws a nice little uppercut on the inside. Nice left uppercut to P&L. That was a nice shot. Tyson bucked and then threw a left uppercut. Beautiful shot. Nice straight left back there from Pianetta. Double jab, double right jab, and a left from Pianetta to Tyson. Oh, Tyson tried to shift out the way, and Pianetta clipped him. You've got to remember, you, Wilder is going to be like 215. There's no way, there's no way. Fighting like this, Fury's going to beat him. No, it's not, he's not even getting to points. Because Fury ain't going to be around for 12 rounds. Good left hand there from Pianetta. This is round five. I just begin to wonder if the Pianetta train's going to start. I wonder. Well, that was just a brief moment. Wouldn't it be something if Pianetta... Got tied before Tyson Fury. Nice body shot there from Tyson. And then one, two. Here goes Pianetta flying a couple more. Pianetta has been throwing more punches this round. I've got to say that. So that might have something to do with the strategy. End of the round. Let's see what people are saying. Lions in the camp. Lions. Sorry, I'll say that. Um, Deontay Wilder is just having a word there, and he <laughs> Wilder is probably licking his chops. He's probably looking at Fury Day, looking easy work. I'm telling you. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to side here, but you got to think a guy two fifteen pounds knocked out everybody he's fought in his career, and he's looking this looking at slow ass fury. No, no, come on, man, getting clipped by Pianetta. Wireless must thinking. Listen, I might listen. I might miss you with ten, but I just got to catch. As he said, I just got to catch you with one. I just got to catch you with one, baby. Bomb squad! Okay, this is round six. Fury versus Pianetta. Fury won in rounds. He's got them tonight. But um, does going rounds with Pianetta help Tyson Fury? That's the question. Pianetta coming coming closer now. And uh, with a bit more uh, energy. Fury to the body. Works left to the body. Then... Uh, 
tries to kind of hold Pianetta. Pianetta pulls away from it. Pianetta just tucks up, sees all the punches Tyson's throwing, ties up, tucks up, just waits there on the ropes. Tyson's got his head there. A lovely uppercut on the inside there. Tyson Fury. Double left, double left hook. It was like a triple left hook there. It was a beautiful uppercut inside there from Tyson. Now working the body. Tyson now lean up against Pianetta. Head right. Another uppercut by Tyson to Pianetta. Pianetta just leaning on the ropes here. Body shot from Tyson there. Pianetta sucked all that up. Oh, good body shot there from Pianetta. That was a class shot. Out of all that, he came back and threw a beautiful shot to Fury's body. That was a good shot. Now, referee's having a word with Tyson about use, use of the head. But in that little sequence there, Fury, uh, Pianetta came out, exploded, and threw a right hand to the uh, left hand to Fury's body. It was a good shot. Fury tries to throw a kind of right hand or hook, sort of. Pianetta sees it. Some good work on the inside there from Fury. Nice combination there. Fury just a bit more speed and a jab. Nice combination there from Fury. There's glimmers of the old Fury there. With the hand speed and the two, three, four punch combination. You've just got to look at how he did against uh, Christian Hammer. It's a similar sort of, like when I was doing the preview to this, uh, PNA is at the same sort of level as Christian Hammer. Pianetta tried to throw a one-two. Fury just slipped away from it. Made Pianetta look very silly. Round six. Fury seems to have stepped up again in this round. We're still getting clipped with shots. Still making sort of mistakes. Things he probably would have got clipped with before when he was lighter. Pianetta coming in now. Trying to... Got Tyson gets right. Throws a straight left hand. Fury tries to spin Pianetta. Now Pianetta's the one in ropes. And then Fury throws a kind of like a pitter patter shots in the end of the round. I'm looking very quick. I'm just looking at Tyson Fury in the corner. Anybody got any comments for this round? This is gone. I'm not quite sure what Ben Davidson's game plan is with uh, with uh, against Pianetta. I'm not sure what they what their plan is. But um, we'll see. It doesn't look that it doesn't look tired, Tyson. So that's a good sign. It doesn't look like he's blowing. This is round seven. It was the prediction round. People said seven rounds. One of the guys in here said that Tyson would stop Pianetta in seven rounds. Let's see. He hasn't looked close, looked close to stopping Pianetta. Looks like people are throwing oh, people are throwing stuff out. I see in the background there. Uh, people are throwing out mini, uh, like waterproofs, waterproofs in the background. Stuff has been waterproofs been flung all around the arena. <laughs> so in the background, you see all these waterproofs flying while Tyson's fighting. Poor Tyson. Okay, body shot there from Pianetta. He's working the look, throwing little body shots to Tyson, which is good. I'd like to see Pianetta throw more of them. Pinetta's lost every bloody round of this fight so far. But um, just plunging, plung, walking forward, walking forward, walking forward. Hands up. Same thing from round one. He stuck his, sticks his hand out, arm out, almost a blind Pianetta, and then pulls it back. Nothing's happened yet in this round. Here comes Pianetta trying to edge Fury to the ropes and throws the left hand. Fury spins one, two, three, four. A low blow there. 
and the referee gets in pin out and automatically says that's a low blow and the referee spots it Low blow there. I'd milk it for everything I could, Pianetta. Or how I would do. They touch gloves. And uh, it was a nice little combination of Tyson, but the body shot, I think, was just a little low. And they resume. Pianetta coming forward now. Trying to get Fury against the ropes. I'm a bit confused with Pianetta when he goes to attack. What, what exactly he's trying to do to Tyson? Uh, the first thing I would have done if I was Pianetta's team, I said, you know what? Forget trying to... Oh, good right hand there from Tyson. Clean right on the forehead of Pianetta. Pianetta fires back with his own left hand. I would have thought, you know what? This guy, let's see what his body his body's like. Let's work his body. Let's forget the head. Let's work his body. Let's test that fitness. Pianetta goes in. Combination in for Pianetta. He just puts his chin on Pianetta's shoulder. And Pianetta touches the gloves. Maybe, I don't know, he must have got one back up on Tyson. 30 seconds to go at the end for seven, round seven. It's in round seven. The two are against the ropes. Tyson's got his back towards me. I can't see what's going on, but he's just leaning his head into Pianetta. Pianetta's leaning on the ropes. And Tyson's got his head there. Tyson's a better on the inside. If Tyson is going to stop Pianetta, I think it'll be working from the inside. Two body shots here from Tyson. End of the round. I've got that body shot. It was, it was on the... It looked to me it was on it was borderline. That's what it looked like to me. Let me look again. I didn't get hit with the shot. That's what people are saying. Uh, Tyson is only fighting 10 rounds. The most he can do is jump straight into a 12 rounder. Uh, how can you jump into straight into a 12 rounder? And then uh can't take Ben seriously, says Maradona. He should get the rounds in and stop him in the 10th, 10th, 11th. Tyson has gone shit. Has he? Uh, Wilder will kill him. Pianetta is winning this fight. Haha. <laughs> has he? Uh, is Tyson fighting his pants or normal shorts tonight? Normal shorts. This is round eight. And uh, Fury's won every round. Sticks two to the body there, Fury. Oh, nice combination. That little short little uppercut there hits Fury. Pianetta hit Fury with an uppercut from out. From the distance. Can you believe that? Left hook from Fury. Good left hook there. Fury looks to me like a man who's trying to remember a script from long ago. He really does. He looks like a guy who has seen better days. And he's trying to somehow recapture that. And he's trying things. He's trying things. That's, I'm sure he is. He's trying to do things that he did before, but and his skill is still skill set still there. But I don't know. Something just seems off. And the other thing about Fury that I've noticed, Pianetta tries to throw left hand. The other thing, another left hand Pianetta tries to throw. The other thing I've noticed, his legs don't look that stable. I don't know why, but Fury's legs don't look that stable. Good straight left hand there. From Fury. They're in close again. Fury leaning on Pianetta. This is a strategy Fury used against Cunningham, where he started to walk Cunningham down and work on the inside. Fury's good at working on the inside for sure. He's good with the uppercut and he's good with the body shots. But there's nothing much going on in this round. Fury just leaning on Pianetta. And Peanut has just got his hands up against the ropes, just looking at Fury. 
Pinetta's just tucked up at all. Nice little left hand inside there from Pinetta. Another left hand from Pinetta on the inside. Tyson works two to the body. If Tyson's going to stop Pinetta, it'll be from being on the inside. Either for an uppercut to the body combination. Can't see it from distance. I can see it up close. Peter throws throw a straight left hand to Tyson. Tyson sways back from it. Tyson kind of like, I don't know, he looked like he was becking Pianetta in. Double jab from Fury. Pianetta just blocked the shots. Oh, left hand over the top. And around. Do you know what? Let's see what people are saying, Gene, around. Anybody want to tell me the Furies are... I don't know. I don't think Peanut has felt the power, says McTreasure. Agreed, Pinetta felt the power and came to a decision. There is no power, lol. Fury couldn't stop traffic with a lollipop stick. Agreed, Ingram. Trying to figure out what to do to get Pinetta out of there. Showing off some good skills, but not so effective as far as hurting Pinetta. BW Tim, he needs his uncle to unlock him. Like how Kanta unlock, unlocks Pogba. Uh, Fury cocaine, Burger King, not going to. Fury's got his arms out. Taking a deep breath inside, like almost like he's trying to conjure up some sort of magic, like a like a Mortal Kombat character, and like a power up or like a Hulk Hogan as he stretches his hands out. This is round nine of ten. Maybe we'll get the Fury knockout in round uh, nine. Maybe Fury's gonna put the foot down and stop Pianetta. That's why he put his hands out like that. Fury's gone southpaw. It looks has he gone southpaw? Looks like he's gone southpaw. And here comes Pianetta. Fury against the ropes. Pianetta's now putting Fury against the ropes now. Just for a moment. And then he's called. Pianetta calls Fury in. Combination there. And Pianetta says, come on, come on, come on. Do you know what? Looking at his fight, it's a glorified sparring session. I want to say, this looks like a glorified sparring session. I'm not, I'm not joking. This looks like a sparring session. It really looks like a sparring session. Bar a couple of shots. It look, I've seen better sparring sessions, to be honest. This actually looks like a good move around. That's all it is. Really is a move around. And this is not what Tyson needs to be preparing for a world title fight. Sorry. Peanut now has got Tyson against the ropes. Throws a short left hand on the inside. Peanut Tyson now throws a short combination. Nice little left uppercut there from Tyson. Pick that shot beautifully. I want to see Tyson put four or five punches together of class and then try and step on the gas. Body shot there from Fury. You'll see one, another good body shot from Fury. Now body shot back from Pianetta. I, you know what? I don't care what anybody tells me. As far as I'm concerned, this is a cash out fight. I don't care what anybody tells me. This Fury, Fury, uh, Wilder fight is a cash out fight. I don't care. I mean, who's going to want to stick around and watch this stuff for the next four to five years? Really? And he's Tyson the last four or five years. Look at this combination missing. Sorry. I just, I just, I don't see it. I like Tyson, but I just don't see it. This is round nine of ten. And if the exercise is to go ten rounds, I get it. Tyson quadruples up with a left hook. Quadruples up with a left hook. <laughs> but Peanut has blocked every single one of them. Yeah, he's gone he's South War, right? No, he's gone Orthodox against Tyson. No, he's gone that South War. Orthodox to South War. Tyson switched from Orthodox Southpaw and threw a straight left. 
One, two, three mil. And Pete Nettis has come on. This is the second fight, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to let you know. This is the second fight Fury's been in, yeah? That he's fought a guy that people thought he'd bang over, and he hasn't. This is the second fight, ladies and gentlemen, um, that you would have thought Fury would have banged over an opponent, and he hasn't. Now, you could say Fury is just getting himself um, in shape, and he's just doing the rounds and wants the rounds. That's one thing. But um, if that's not the case, and let's say he's not punching as hard as he used to, that's another sign of concern. What it is, I don't know. He needs to fake an injury and get out the wild of the fight. Fury trying to focus his chi. True. Dave like hay and the toe. Anyone can stop traffic with a lollipop attack. Hashtag the hashtag Fury toe. Yes, this is anticlimax. Deontay says, this is terrible. Has Deontay gone home yet? Ha ha ha. Carl Froch versus Chris Eubank Jr. was a better sparring session. LOL. Wilder must be quaking in his boots. Surely Fury can't beat Wilder like this. I've been trying to tell you people this, but nobody wants to down or listen to me. Uh, stop this guy in seven, ten months ago. That's reality. This is a cash out for Tyson for sure. I've said it. I think it's a cash out fight. Uh, I'm not happy. Where's the chaos of travel news? <laughs> uh, the gypsy. This is round 10, by the way. And the reason why I'm not talking much because there's really nothing going on apart from Tyson looking at Pinetta and Pinetta looking at Tyson. It's round one in round 10. Pinetta walking forward, hands up. Tyson Fury off the back foot, throwing the jab and quick combinations. That's it. As you were. Um, the gypsies down the park give a better account of themselves. This is drivel. Now I see why Belly was so confident he can take Fury. Ha, ha, ha. Fury is like Mr. Blobby. Did Fury win? Yeah, well, I think Huey puts up a better fight against Wilder. Fury now put Tyson puts Pianetta again on the back foot and then digs one, two, three, four to the body and up to the head. Fury's got Pianetta against ropes and Pianetta says, come on, come on, come on, come on. That best you got. And Tyson backs up, resets. And then again. Turns from Orthodox to Southpaw. Left hand and throws three, four. Doubles up. Tyson's got a lot of he's got a lot of ability. He has. But I'm not sure if that ability plus uh what we're seeing here, I don't know if it's enough to win him a world title again, to be honest. Left hand there. I mean, you've got to think Joshua and Wilder, both guys are tremendously fit. Here's Pianetta for one, two, and then a right left hand again. And Tyson just ties them up. Because none of those guys are coming in with losing records. None of those guys are coming to just fall over. None of those guys are, are you know, those guys are world champions. <laughs> they, ain't here to, they ain't here to mess about Peanut has got his hands in the air He's saying come on, come on Tyson, come on I've just gone 10 rounds of linear heavyweight champion of the world I'm double European champion I've gone 10 rounds of linear champion It didn't come close to stopping me And Tyson hits me with a four punch combination And, and Peanut just walk, bounces off the ropes And walks in 10 rounds, Tyson's done 10 rounds Tyson has done 10 rounds. It's a 10-round fight for Tyson Fury. Uh, power ain't there due to all the weight loss. Good question there. Fury is as fast. Is as fast. You can't see him move. LOL. Fury looks to me at least two stone overweight, which would have him weighing 16 stone four in shape. He must have a lot lost a lot of muscle. Wilder would destroy this version. Got to have one fight, one more fight before Wilder. Too slow. I've said it already. This is a cash out fight. If anybody remembers me uh, talking about Deontay, um, Deontay Wilder, or sorry, uh, Tyson Fury, the comeback. And I said, I hope that they don't take two fights and stick him into a world title fight because that's going to be dreadful. 
Tyson's not ready for Deontay Wilder. I don't care what anybody tells me. I don't care what anybody tells me. Anybody who tells me that Tyson Fury is ready for Deontay Wilder is living in the Klitschko three years ago. They've not moved on. Because he's fought since Klitschko now. He's fought Safa Sefiri and he's fought this fight. And both fights he's been unconvincing in. I'm sorry. That was another unconvincing fight. There's two fights now under Ben Davidson. The Tyson Fury's looked very, very, very ordinary. Very ordinary. So um, there's no doubt that uh, Tyson Fury and John Tawai are going to square off. I think uh, Tyson's mouth at the moment is more impressive than his actual boxing. I have to say, and that's a harsh thing to say tonight, but it is. With this kind of fight, Tyson has no chance against Wilder. Uh, he kissed him, hello, I was Maradona. Uh, so Fury couldn't smash the pin here. Easy win for Wilder. Ingram, I want my money back. <laughs> B-side, I fell asleep from round nine. Who won? You know who won that fight? Frank Warren won that fight. <laughs> well, that's another fight. It's second fight, Fury's back. And I don't want to hear no excuses. That's his second fight back, and it's unconvincing. I'm sorry. You could say, well, it's the second fight back. Really, to me, this is his comeback fight. Ultimately, for me, this is his comeback fight. This is the first fight. So I would like to see him see two more and then fight. End of 2019, fight Deontay Wilder. What's Tyson? Tyson's got something in the ring. He's holding something in the ring like a WBC belt. Tyson's holding a WBC belt up in the end. And he's, uh, it's, it's Deontay's belt that uh, Tyson had. I was holding up in the air. And then he gave it back to, basically gave it back to John T. Wilder. I think after the Safari fight, Frank probably thought of cutting his losses fast. That's what I thought. Ben Dover looks chuffed. Uh, Frank Warren... Said he'd take his time with Tyson, liar. I think he's cut his lot. I think he's cut. I think he's cutting his losses not only with um, Tyson Fury, but he's cutting his losses with Billy Joe Saunders as well. That's what I think. Um, I'm glad Pinot wasn't knocked out. He's cleared out my gutter Monday morning, and Tyson can bag up the shite for him after that shit show. Ben Dover getting a raw bumming tonight. Ben Dover must have borrowed that belt from Charlie's head. Another few fights and a bit more weight loss and another trainer and Ben Davison as a side trainer and then fight Windmill. Listen, you won't be calling Windmill after this fight. Uh, Kevin Johnson stopping Peanut in seven rounds really sums up this fight. So are they going to announce now that Wilder, well, Wilder and, well, there's uh, Billy Joe Saunders over there. Where's Deontay Wilder? Oh, they're calling Deontay Wilder over now. He's got the belt. He's holding the belt in the air. I don't even know if that's a real WBC belt. Is that the real WBC belt? Or is that just a... It looked like a fake version of WBC belt, actually. So here we go. This is what we were waiting for. Fury and Tyson again, face-to-face. -face. Listen. <laughs> I'd be licking my lips. If I'm Wilder, I'm licking my lips. Because there ain't much more Fury can do between now and the fight and November. Yeah, he'll get himself to lose a bit more weight, but but he's going to know as soon as he gets hit, we'll touch one of them right hands. He's going to know what's going to happen. That is not impressive at all. And you see, after all the antics that happened at, uh, you know, for the weigh-in with John Fury and all that stuff, all the antics there and then Billy Joe Saunders, this ain't good. This is not good.
The fight is on. The fight is on. Fury versus Wilder is on. That's why I was. So, yeah, they're Fury and, and Wild are talking to one another now, so I don't know what's going on. You know, the one Tyson is far more skilled than Deontay Wilder, that's one thing. But Wilder has that right hand and that good left jab as well that people keep Okay, now Fury's in the face of Wilder. And he pushes Wilder. Just come on. Now Tyson's push. He just pushed Wilder there. That's all right. That's okay. That's okay. This is not Francesco Pianetta. It's not Francesco Pianetta. It's not Vladimir Klitschko. It's not Derek Chisora. But Tyson Fury, ain't, I'm telling you, Fury ain't seen nothing like that man over there. I'm telling you all now, now. 215, Luke Tyson will lose more weight. But he's going to get touched. And that is the beginning of the end, to be honest. Um, reckon Fury fought shit on purpose to look shit and really turn up while the fight. Nah. Yeah. How much more can he change? How much more can Fury change in that? Let's be honest. Fury's coming back again to have a word with uh, Wilder. They're back at it again. Yeah, I think Tyson's more skilled. I mean, you know, you've got a guy who can switch from orthodox to southpaw, you know, who, who, who defensively is, but I would say Tyson's defensively better than Deontay Wilder. I mean, when he backs up against the ropes, he knows what to do better than Deontay Wilder. Wilder still doesn't know how to block the the, 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 the jab. He still, when when Wilder throw, when somebody throws a jab at Wilder, Wilder's bet his way is to step back from a jab, pull away from punches, whereas Fury will actually try and slip and move his head. And, and spin out of uh, out of the pocket. So I think in that sense, I think Fury is much more skilled in that sense. Um, but the skill that he had against for the Klitschko and the skill level now, I think because of the weight loss and the three years out and the lack of activity, that is uh, that's that's key because you can have all the skill in the world, but you need to be sharp. And Tyson isn't sharp. So he may have got himself into getting himself into fighting shape or, or, or get himself into physical shape, but fighting shape is another thing altogether. So for me, looking at this fight now with Fury and Wilder, he, he, what he's going to do between now and, and November or December, whenever the fight is, maybe November, December, because I've, I've got the volume down on mute. So, you know, the fight's on, but it's like... <laughs> What can Fury do now? Now they're facing off against one another. Tyson's trying to kiss Wilder. They're, and Fury and Wilder are good friends. They're, they're good. They get on well. They generally get on well. Joshua and Fury don't get on well. And that's a di big difference there. It's business for these two guys. They're both going to make a hell of a lot of money out of it. And I think that Fury knows. I think Fury knows himself. It, he needs to know himself. Look, I ain't, I'm not going to stick around. I need to find out whether I'm I'm still in this. I'm good enough for this. So he ain't going to tell the public that. But I think behind closed doors, this is some form of a cash out fight. I really do. It's interesting that Billy Joshua is fighting Andrade and Fury is going to be fighting Wilder. Very very interesting times. I mean, they're both clearly fighting fights. 
if Saunders beats Andrade, I think that's a career defining fight. Uh, he's now fighting a guy just as skilled, even more skilled than him in Saunders and in, in Andrade. And as for Fury, um, he fights now Wilder, who is 40 and 0. Is pound for pound the biggest puncher in world boxing at the moment, and pound for pound one of the big one of the biggest punches in world boxing. Period. I mean, when you're talking about big punches, you've got to put Wilder up there with the likes of George Foreman, Mike Tyson. Uh, you know, uh, those guys. You've got to put him up there. Even Lennox Lewis, but Lennox Lewis didn't even have a, a knockout ratio like how Wilder's got. Uh. This is what AJ didn't want with the whole getting wild to get in the ring, LOL. Tyson never really looked good, even before Klitschko. Remember the McDermott and Cunningham fights? I've tried to tell people that before, but they don't listen. Uh, big, big fake push at the end, laugh made of. They were just smiling and giggling yesterday. Victory, that's when he hit himself with the uppercut, haha. <laughs> Fury and Blowjob Saunders are frauds. Beat Joshua is one win versus an old wash up, and now thinks he's great. I know, definitely more defensively more skilled. He's going to need to bring a tank to hide in when he faces Wilder. Oh, I agree with you, Gypsy Creamways. Exactly that uppercut shocked he didn't hit himself. He kissed Wilder. Andrade is a con, Gyps is a con, Gypsy Cream. Thing against Andrade is a hundred is one small for hundred small for blowjob. Let me tell you, Andrade is a skilled. You, a lot of guys don't know Andrade as an amateur. Um, Andrade gave Keith Thurman a hiding. Okay, so let me see something. You all don't know who Andrade is, but you're gonna find out. When I told you all about Kovalev, when Kovalev came to the UK, you all didn't know who Kovalev was, and he put a hiding on cleverly. And I told you all about Terence Crawford. You all didn't listen to me about Terence Crawford. Terence Crawford now goes on and becomes pound for pound one of the best fighters in the world and undisputed champion. You all didn't listen to me. I'm telling you about Andrade, but you all ain't going to listen to me. So you're all going to have to find out just how good Andrade is. Andrade is a super, super, super uh, good fighter. And you're going to find out how good Andrade is. Or Billy Joe Saul is going to find out how good Andrade is. Yes, it's official. Was Tyson at 56% a lot better than last fight? <laughs> Not really. He just looked, to me, he looked like the same Tyson Fury, but just lost weight. That's it. Uh, Wilder hasn't fought anybody. Why didn't Fury wait and have... Wilder hasn't fought anybody. Why didn't Fury wait and have a few more fights? Wilder didn't fight anybody. All right, mate. So Luis Ortiz isn't anybody. I can see where you're at. I hope that when, uh, you know, Fury, Fury, Fury's best win... On his rec resume is a Vladimir Klitschko. That's it. And Vladimir Klitschko was not is no all time great. He got knocked out by Ross Purity. He got knocked out by uh, Lemon Brewster. Let me remind you of Vladimir Klitschko. So let's Fury didn't beat an all time great in Vladimir Klitschko. Let's let's let, let's let you have that straight. Yeah, this is a guy that got knocked down uh, two times by Samuel Peter. Let's have that straight. He beat an old man, and Fury said that himself. So all you people want to discredit uh, Deontay Wilder, he fought Luis Ortiz, which Tyson Fury didn't want to fight. He said it on our channel. He didn't. He had no interest in fighting Luis Ortiz for a number of reasons. Joshua didn't want no piece of Luis Ortiz. So Deontay Wilder fought the baddest man on the planet at the time, which was Luis Ortiz. That's it. I don't hear nothing about Deontay Wilder. He fought nobody. Tyson cut not Wilder out. Can he punch him like that? I don't know. If Wilder gets reckless and Tyson cuts him in the, in the counter, these are two big men in the ring. It can happen. Everyone blames Hearn, but he's sadly right. They got offered 15 to 30 million if they, if they are that good and AJ wank. Take the fight. Wilder and Fury are bums. I hope AJ does them both. Oh, dear. Luz Ortiz is 50. Okay. Three months Ingram of intense training. Enough, in your opinion? No, no, no. You tell me. All right. What is going to change by losing weight? This, this is what I don't get, people. So he's going to be a bit faster. What is going to change technically from Fury? He's been trained by 
Um, what's his name? Ben Davidson. What is going to change? What is going to change? So he comes in lighter. So, so he's faster. He's going to need to be, or else he's going to get nailed. He's going to get nailed anyway by Wada. And it doesn't bode well. This is a guy that got dropped by Nevin Pycheck. This is a guy that got dropped by um, Steve Cunningham. Those are cruiserweight and a small heavyweight. Now we're talking about him going against pound for pound, one of the biggest punches in boxing history. And while you say Wilder didn't fight anybody, it tells you how much you know about boxing. This guy is an, a bronze medalist in the Olympics. He wasn't handed to him. He didn't fight in his backyard and uh, get handed to him. This is a guy that fought in the amateurs as an Olympic Olympian, and he got a bronze medal. So, knock all you want about Deontay Wilder, and hate all you want, but the one thing you can't deny, two things you can't deny, this guy is an Olympian, he's a bronze medalist, and the second thing is, he's the longest reigning heavyweight champion now we've got, and the third thing is, he is genuinely, pound for pound, one of the biggest punches in world boxing, and pound for pound, one of the greatest punches in world boxing. Stats say it all. Uh, he went to 10 rounds against a guy that Kevin Johnson knocked out. Lewis Ortiz, the man who beat David White, David, David uh, Allen. Yeah, really bad man he is. Oh, excuse me. This is the same Lewis Ortiz that, say, if you don't fight Lewis, this, this, is, this, is, this is people that don't understand boxing. You've got these people here, absolute clowns. They say to you, Fight Luis Ortiz, he's the number one guy, he's the most dangerous man in the division. So when Wilder beats him, he's nobody. But when L Joshua didn't want to fight him, people made excuses for it. You know? So I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear, any, I don't hear that kind of rubbish. Enjoy the fight, enjoy the boxing, but please don't, just don't talk about boxing, man. It's not good, it's embarrassing. Uh, Dave Lister says he needs to fake an injury, give him more time. Audrey Harrison got a gold medal. I rest my case. But you don't know the background about Audrey Harrison. I know the background of Audrey Harrison. Audrey Harrison didn't trade for his fights. My cousin used to manage Audrey Harrison. So I know the Audrey Harrison story. And Audrey Harrison lost his first fight. when She walked out on him. And then after that, Audrey lost his fight. So don't talk from a keyboard. Talk from actually knowing and knowing people. All right? Um, he still looked a little uncoordinated and combination a bit rusty he really need that uh it's good it's a it's a pikey scam says paul squibby they're going to clean out the bookies now. Fury has got the odds against him beating Wilder down from 100 to 1 against LOL. AJ is less of a bum than Fury and Wilder. To be honest, all three of them are con jobs. Oh, dear. They still look a bit uncoordinated and the combination is a bit rusty. They really need to improve further to beat Wilder. Fury's going to get clipped as if the movie isn't great anymore. I don't think so either. Rather's record's better than Joshua's. I always said Ortiz was shit. Uh, AJ was given the gold medal. He's the worst world champion after Charles Martin. Oh, dear. Here we go. Wilder's not going to do business with Hearn again unless 50-50. We need to see all the fights in the triangle of Fury, Wilder, Joshua. Agreed, mate. Wilder may be losing a fight, but he can... Carol spark at anyone any time. That's the dangerous thing. Mr. Fight, update me, brother. How Tyson do and what fight are we on at the moment? Well, we've got Frampton's fight. Luke Jackson making his way to the ring. Uh, Tyson won a points decision over um, Pianetta. Yeah, he lost a bit of weight, of course, but the performance was workmanlike. Uh, workmanlike, that's it. Peanut was able to land punches. At no point in time did Peanut look like he was going to get knocked out or stopped. 
So, and then you, you, we saw the pantomime between Wilder and, and Tyson. So, it is what it is. Luke Jackson's in the ring, walking his way to the ring as we speak. So, we've got Jackson versus Frampton. I, you know, it's, you see, when you see when you when you devalue fighters in boxing, what you're basically doing when you keep calling this person a bum and that person a bum, and this person a bum, what ends up happening is you devalue the sport of boxing. And when you devalue the sport of boxing, then they'll never be great fighters anymore. And then you get guys who don't understand the sport of boxing rating fighters that are not good at all, or have got padded records. Like you tell me how something like Ryan Garcia is considered a pound, a, a top fighter. He hasn't fought anybody. He's just throwing a whole lot of punches on a pad, pads and fast hands. And people rate Ryan Garcia because he's got an Instagram account and he's got loads, millions of followers. But he hasn't fought anybody. He's got terrible defense. But that's the society of boxing we're in today. I, I, I suppose back in the era of Ali, Foreman, Fraser... People would have called Fraser a bum and would have called Foreman a bum. When Foreman got knocked up by Jimmy Jimmy Young, they'd have called Foreman a bum because it was Jimmy Young. Or when when uh, Ali got knocked down by Cooper, said, "Oh, Ali hasn't got a good chin." You know, I don't. I, suddenly, people that watch boxing say, "I kind of wonder, like, where they learned how to watch boxing because some of the things that come out their mouth is absolutely redundant, really redundant, make no sense." The tackies and grimmies, Wilder. Three, three last fights. He was, he was getting out boxed. Yes, he caught up and eventually. But you can see him catching Fury with the movement, awkwardness, and he is gonna get. He's gonna be getting peppered. Ingram, are you allowed to get people, Peter's thoughts on this? Yeah, I'm allowed to get Peter's thoughts on it, but it doesn't mean I have to share them with you. But yeah, I can get Peter's thoughts on it. I don't think he's gonna be impressed. Person, I'm, that's my. I don't think he'd be impressed with that. I'm looking at that now. And I and I, I haven't been far wrong so far in the people I've been talking with, Bashir, Abel Sanchez, or Peter Fury, when I've said things and they've kind of repeated what I've said. So that is not good enough to be fighting for a world title against a guy who's got a record like Deontay Wilder. People don't understand what they're watching or what they're looking at until the fight is done. Then they give people credit. They don't they can't recognize something, you know? I told people before Crawford became world champion, this guy is special. Man, people pay no mind. I saw Frampton. I remember talking about Frampton. I, I talked to the um, Irish uh, publication and I said out my opinion about uh, Carl Frampton. I said, if managed correctly, Carl Frampton can become a superstar of world boxing. Look at Carl Frampton today. I think he's a top fighter, Carl Frampton. But I just think he's just off. You know, I, I don't know. I, don't, I think Park Frampton's a repeat. I actually think he's, I won't say he's on the slide, but I think Frampton is, he's not going to get any better, I don't think, Frampton, in my personal opinion. But I, like, I love Frampton. Bad fight, Tyson's got to improve. Uh, who decides if they team up again, Ingram? I don't know. Tyson is cashing out, simple as. Uh, Frank Warren has let Tyson down. You weren't the only one, Ingram. Uh, I think Tyson needs Mick Hennessy back. Thoughts on this, Ingram? Tyson's his own man. He makes his own decisions. And I said in this uh, in this comeback, back in 2017, I hope they don't do what they're doing now. It's a cash out for me. It's a cash out. I think Frank one's probably fed up with it. He's fed up probably dealing with... Um, he's probably fed up dealing with... Uh, with Tyson and Billy Joe Saunders. Never underestimate Tyson Fury. He will rise to any occasion. You can rise to an occasion. There's nothing wrong with rising to an occasion. But one right hand. I keep telling you about that right hand. Uh, disagree. Dwaran just got him a 10 million payday. And cashed him out, I think. Okay, it's Frampton versus Jackson. Frampton, 31. Jackson, 33. Jackson, a little taller. And Jackson's got the reach. He's got 68 reach over Frampton, 62. Records, Frampton, 16, 14, and 1. 
and Jackson, I'm not sure I'll look at his record. I think Jackson's from Australia, to be honest. So uh, WBO, is it the interim title? I was look saw Martin Murray. Is that Martin Murray in the background here? If it is, then I believe Martin Murray was going to be fighting Liam Cameron until he got stripped of the Commonwealth title. Believe it or not, he said that exclusively on our channel. Um, as history has shown, most heavyweights get put down, KO at some point in their career. And not many have been. Marciano, not anyone else. Yeah, but Marciano, Marciano was full of mafia men around him. And he beat a lot of old guys, Matt Marciano. Let's hope Fury has a lot in the reserve because he's going to be needing it. What's your problem with Billy Joe? What's my problem with Billy Joe? Mate, I don't have a problem with Billy Joe. I like Billy Joe. I've met Billy Joe on a number of occasions. I think he's a, I think he's a good fighter. But I don't like his antics outside the ring. Frampton versus Jackson. Look forward to this. I don't like his antics out of the ring because Billy Joe Saunders is a world champion and young people are watching his behavior and what he's saying and will model that behavior. If Billy Joe Saunders is a guy that a lot of guys look up to, they're looking at Billy Joe Saunders and looking at that behavior thinking it's, it's on and it's not on. think we need to start judging people in the ring well yeah i, I believe so but i believe also that um you probably asked what my somebody asked my opinion what my problem was with billy Joe saunders you know um oh, oh my god it's because you're vegan that you don't like chicken hush your mouth boy hush your mouth i used to eat chicken and i probably eat chicken i probably eat chicken better than you maradona I can cook. I could cook my chicken as well. Season it proper Caribbean chicken. You ever had Caribbean chicken before from the Caribbean? I had two years of it, boy. Um, which heavyweight was never KO'd? Okay, Luke. Let's talk about Luke Jackson now. Come on, Luke. Give it some of that Aussie spirit. Here we go. The champion, Carl Frampton. This is the second half. Now, Frampton versus Jackson. And the champion in the blue corner. Carl the Jackal Frampton. I like Carl Frampton. I really do like Carl Frampton. I think he's a likable guy. I think the guy can fight. I just like Carl Frampton. There's something about him. He's just one of these guys I like. As a boxer, I've always liked Carl Frampton. I like him. Straight talking guy. Gets down to business. None of the razzmatazz. I like him. Good quality fighter. Got the vegan heavyweight fighting tonight. Bright Jennings will be fighting against uh, Dimitrenko tonight. And for those of you that actually believe that protein comes from meat, protein comes from plant. That's where protein comes from. But then, if you don't believe me, go look at Doctor Sabi. Go and get some. Go go and learn some stuff. This is round one. Frampton versus Jackson. Jackson in red, Frampton in white. Jackson behind a high guard, Frampton with a kind of low left hand. Jackson to me looked like the bigger guy at featherweight. Taller at least. Longer arms, good reach. But I don't think Jackson has ever boxed anyone like Frampton.
Time to try for a right hand. Jackson moved out the way of it. Jack Frampton tried to throw a right hand again over the top. Jackson made Frampton miss with two big right hands. Jab there from Jackson. This fight might be a bit more interesting than the Fury fight. And by the way, I'm not a vegan. I don't know who even said I'm a vegan. I'm a vegetarian, not a vegan. My wife's a vegan. Right. Today I had a kebab. I had a vegan kebab today. It was nice. Got a straight right hand there from Frampton. Not much has happened in this Frampton fight. A lot of, lot of uh, at the first round. I think they have a good look at one another. Jackson's putting out his jab. The one thing I do like about Frampton is that even if you've got longer arms than him, he's got a way of getting inside and throwing punches. I find that really good of Frampton. Down to footwork. It's a good fighter, Frampton. Body shots there from Frampton. Whipped to him as Jackson back to the ropes. Right hand there from Frampton. Steps back. Again. Jackson yet to land anything clean on Frampton at the moment. Frampton walking Fra Jackson's ropes. He's missed with three big right hands so far. I don't know if Frampton's trying to load up with a right hand. But um, he's missed with three big right hands so far. Now he's missed with a right uppercut as well. Frampton missed with four right hands. That's four right hands he's missed with Lou Jackson this first round. I know he's trying to load up to knock Lou Jackson out one shot. End of the first round. Touch gloves. Back to the corner. I hate tofu. I don't eat tofu, man. Tofu's bare nastiness. Forget tofu, it's nasty, man. Turn it for round two here. Jackson versus Frampton. Round two. Jackson comes out with a straight left jab to the chest of Frampton. Frampton again misses the right hand. Be concerned where Frampton missed with five right hands in the first round. Again, it could just be nerves. It could just be just trying to put on a show against for his fans in Belfast. To get him to relax a bit more. Now the right hand to the body. That was better. Frampton just sliding back and looking to. I think he's, he looks to me at Frampton. He's, he's slipping back. And then when Jackson attacks and he slips back and then shoots his right hand and left over. Good one, two there from Frampton. It looks better. Warming to the task here in round two. Every time Luke Jackson throws a, a shot, it's not. It, it's surprising because Jackson's got a longer reach than Frampton. But Frampton, as soon as. He's just outside of Jackson. So when Jackson tries to throw something, he just steps off a bit. That's good footwork there from Frampton. Really good footwork. Because it's his footwork that's getting him into position and getting him out of position. The two tie up. Referee says. I have the word with both of them and they continue. Frampton walking Luke Jackson to the ropes. Oh, good left hook there from Frampton. Two body shots there from Frampton. I don't see Luke Jackson lasting very long in this fight because Jackson, to me, he looks overawed with the whole thing. 
Body shots here from Frampton. Not much coming back from Jackson. Frampton just looked overall the better fighter, better boxer. Looks far more mature in there. From what I'm seeing earlier on anyway. Jackson's first move is to walk towards the ropes. So it looks like he's in survival mode. Good combination here from Frampton. When, it, when a fighter's movement, his first move is to put his back towards the ropes. Oh, good shot from Frampton there. Jackson tried to open up and Frampton stung him with a straight left there. So we should see how what Frampton's punching power is like at featherweight, though. It was a nasty puncher, a super bantam. Body shots there for Frampton. Frampton stepping it up now. It just There's not much offense coming from Luke Jackson. It's all Frampton is walking forward. And uh yeah, Frampton coming forward and Luke Jackson just hiding behind a tight guard. That's all it is that's happening in this fight so far. I agree, but Sabi is dead now. Okay, you'd have to talk to Sabi. Then check out my personal friend, Patrick Dells on BWTM. He talks about the same stuff as well. Patrick Dells, what type of diet do you follow? Um, I don't eat vegan. I'm a vegetarian, so I eat. Um, I I satin. I eat satin a lot of that. Um, I eat corn foods a lot of corn food. Um. Yeah, corn setting, Linda McCartney, lots of fruit and veg, the other pizza when I feel like it. Anything soy is bad, it causes cancer. Fancy to wake up. What was your kebab made of? Setting. Fancy should have stayed with Shane McQuiggan. Frampton, cut. This is round three. If you if you want meat, the quality is healthy, then jackfruit is the best. Yep, I had jackfruit yesterday. Jackfruit saltfish. Avoid soy or corn, etc. Jackfruit is the best. I've got to agree with you there. Jackfruit is very nice. Round three. Now, here's Frampton working the body. Oh, nice body shot here. Here's Jackson trying to four more punches in round three. We see as soon as Jackson, right hand around the corner. Around the bed. Oh, good body shot there from Jackson there. Oh, now they're trailing toe to toe now in round three. Jackson's side come out and throw punches. Frampton double left up to the body and into the head. Here comes Jackson throwing punches back at Frampton. So Frampton, Jackson's got a stand and fight now against Frampton. Frampton throws three, four punches to the body. Now up to the top as well. Now we've got a good fight here between Frampton and Jackson. I think Jackson's having to stand and play because he's got no choice. He either gets bullied by Frampton or he fires back. And now Jackson's forced to fire back. There's a difference between firing back because you want to and firing back because you have to. And Jackson's firing back because he has to. And that's an uncomfortable situation. And that's when you start making mistakes. Frampton pushing the fight forward now in round three. Still missing that right hand. Fight livened up in round three. Frampton on the front foot still. But Jackson threw some nice body shots back at Frampton, though. Oh, nice left hook there from Frampton. Just knocked Jackson off balance there. I'm glad Jackson started to throw some punches back. Because it's all like one-way traffic. Nice short uppercut inside there from Frampton. It all looked like one-way traffic in this first two rounds. But Jackson's come out in the third round. Looked like he wants to fight a bit. Nice jab there from Jackson. Oh, nice left there, jab from Frampton. Nice combination there. Oh, nice wicked body shot there from Frampton. Yeah, Frampton looks like he's cut, though. I can see the cut. 
a Francis Cup. Frampton doesn't want to be losing this fight tonight to Luke Jackson. Remember I said to you earlier on that I didn't think Frampton was peaking anymore. I thought he was, I didn't say he was on the slide, but he's definitely not. He's peaked, I think. So I think he's either steady or on his way down. That's what I think of Frampton. Don't ask me why I believe that, but. I'm going to say Fra now Frampton is done. Warrington will wear him down at working. We're, we're, I'm going to look for the betting now and start my weekly donations. See, I remember when we had uh, Rick Glazer on about a year ago. He came on the channel. He said to me, Carl Frampton, he's done. And that was before he fought Donia. He said, Frampton's done. So... I just wonder if those Santa Cruz fights took more out of Frampton than we think. You wouldn't think it, but, you know, there were some hard fights against Santa Cruz. This is round four. Frampton comes out with a right hand. I don't like the way Frampton keeps missing with his right hand, though. Nice combination here for Frampton. He needs to be careful, though, Frampton. While he's throwing his own shots, he needs to be careful that Jackson don't crack him back with something while he's throwing his own punches. Nice right hand. When I look at Frampton, it's not his chin that concerns me. I've always concerned that Frampton is vulnerable to body shots. I don't know why I've always believed that. I don't know. Every time I watch Frampton, I think he... I always feel that he's vulnerable to body shots. Nice uppercut inside there from Jackson. Here goes Frampton throwing body shots there. What Frampton doesn't want is Jackson growing in confidence. Jackson trying to throw a big right hand there. Jackson's growing in confidence. He's growing in confidence in this fight. I'm telling you, he's going to punch himself out. This is Tosh Beer. Shouldn't have left Shane. Frampton is wild. Is he wild or because he's in Belfast? Is that what it is? Right, he's in Belfast, he's emotional, you know, he's fighting at home. Oh, nice little left up there from Jackson. Nothing much happened in this fight so far. A lot of looking at one another. Odd jab here and there. Frampton stepping back. Nothing else. Right hand there for Frampton. And almost got clipped with a left hook of his own. You know, looking at this fight with Frampton, the one thing I'm a little concerned about Frampton is that he's not worried about his own defence. He doesn't mind throwing his own punches, but he's, he's he seems reckless to me. Oh, good right hand there from Jackson. Framden needs to be careful in this fight. I'm telling you, he needs to be very careful. Very, very careful. It's just a recklessness the way he's fighting. Uh, Frampton arms are short. That's why even when he tucks up, his body is still exposed. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the point. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. Definitely reckless. Not impressed at all. Well... He does seem reckless. But the thing is, if I'm Luke Jackson, yeah, and I'm his trainer, I say, listen, 
punch when he punches and end on a left hook punch when he punches and end on a left hook you'll catch him whatever you do end on a left hook with frampton end on a wide left hook then because frampton will pull straight back from it whatever you do end on a tell luke jackson when you finish end on the left hook a wild a wide a wide left hook for the wide left hook france is going to back straight up this is round five there comes jackson throwing punches how do you spell cyatine i need protein you can get your, your protein from um things like um you've got your kidney beans um you've got your uh Sated S E I T A N T yeah Sated. Oh, let me spell it for you. Okay. And you can get uh, yeah, but jackfruit's amazing. I ate the jackfruit. My wife prepares it for me like saltfish. I eat plenty, lots of broccoli as well. Jackson looking just as reckless himself this round. And although he's got a longer reach, Frampton's made him miss four or five times in this round. And then whips in a real good body shot there, Frampton. Another wicked body shot there for Frampton. I wonder if Frampton punched him with the same sort of authority as he did uh, as a super bantam. Frampton backs Jackson to the ropes and runs up two body shots. Here's Jackson. Frampton needs to be careful of Jackson, though. Very careful. Body shot there from Frampton. And the right hand over the top there from Frampton. It's all getting a bit messy in this round. Frampton. Lucky. Oh, try a big left hook there, Jackson. Referee's got been between the two of them. Nice right hand there from Frampton. Last 30 seconds. I can't see Frampton looks impressive. I like him, but he just doesn't look impressive to me. Nice body shot there from Luke Jackson. Jackson whip Frampton through four punches there. Three to the body, one to the head. Nice combination here from Frampton. Now, nah, wicked body shot again from Frampton. I am, how a man, how a man you've got, you've got almost four, you've got a four, five, five inch reach advantage over a man, yeah? Who's got short arms. How the hell of a guy who's got four, five inches, you've got four, five inches over, you're making him miss and he's making you pay. That shows you Frampton's good footwork. And the way he's doing that, he's just staying outside of um, Jackson's reach. So what he does, he steps just outside of Frampton, uh, Jackson's reach. So when Jackson tries to throw punches, he just takes a step back. So what Jackson has to do is double and triple up his jabs. This is a shutout so far. Five rounds to nothing. Frampton being in the lead. Chickpeas, lentils, kidney beans for protein. I learnt what to eat from India. Okay. I'm thinking Aussie's going to try to get him 10, 12 rounds. Okay. Trump has done a lot of work, though. Working specifically the body. He's done the right thing. But I still can't get a man. That man's got almost five inch reach advantage against a guy who's got short arms. And this guy who's got short arms making you miss and making you pay. Pfft, I don't get that. Well, I do get it. I understand why. 
Luke Frampton, Luke, Luke Jackson tried to throw a big left hook. Frampton Reed rattled him with two body shots. Why doesn't Frampton use more of the jab? Just use the jab more. Put behind the jab, mate. Just use the jab. One, two. Good combination here from Frampton. That was nice. Another one, two. Oh, good shot there from Jackson. That comes Frampton with a good straight right hand there. Head rock back there from Frampton. Now another one. One, two, three, four from Frampton. Triple jab, then the right hand. Is it me or does it look like Frampton's punch, um, punch is all sort of scripted? Throwing the same combination over and over again. Is it me? I don't know if it's me. It could just be me. See, I love Frampton. But I'm critical of my even fighters I like, so probably fair. I don't understand. Luke Jackson has got a longer reach. Why is he not popping that jab in Frampton's face? Why is he oh, why is he not fainting more? Why is he not drawing Frampton and encountering him? Why is he allowing Frampton to outbox him? I, don't, I, don't, I just don't get it. It don't make no sense. And the other thing I don't understand in boxing when this happens is like, look, you've had five rounds. Look at this guy, yeah. Clearly, the strategy you've got does not work. Why don't you try something different? No, you're going to use the same crap strategy. Good, good uppercut there from Frampton for a right hand and for the, the uppercut in as well. Good combination. Nice variety there. You've got to do the same crap. For next five rounds, seven rounds. What's that? Something doesn't work for five rounds. Change it. Do something different. You have longer arms for this man. You've got a four, a four five inch reach advantage. What the hell are you doing? Who's winning on points is a shutout. Jackie should be using his reach. Referee stopped this in the seventh. You got something about the seventh, you guys. It's because Jackson's footwork is not on point. No, it's not on point. What round are we in? Don't know. Maybe he's paid to lose. Round seven coming up. Okay. What is this about round seven? You got a tip off. They said Fury's going to win in round seven. Now you're saying Jack Frampton about winning seven. I have to say also that at no point in time has Jackson looked like he's been hurt by Frampton. It's pouring down with rain. This is round seven. Frampton versus Jackson. And it's pouring down with rain. See if Jackson can do something different in round seven. Instead of hiding behind that damn, you could, you know, you're hiding behind uh, your two gloves, which is fine. That's better from Jackson. Nice little combination there. Keep, keep going, Jackson. He threw a nice little combination. Jack Frampton out his hands in the air. You can't defend yourself with your hands in the air. Follow up on the man. He can't hurt you. Wilder does the same thing. You jump back and you got your hands in the air. There's no defense. Work up, double up on that man. Double up on the jab on that man. It's a bad habit Frampton's got. Nice combination there from Jackson. A bit more like it. Frampton in the past has had, I'd say, stamina issues. Just slow in fights. Nice body shot there. I wonder if Luke Jackson coming to his own. Jackson started this round pretty positively. Nice body shot there from Jackson. Jackson start with a bit more ambition this round. I wonder if he'll get knocked out of him. Frampton spiteful like that. Oh, nice free punch combination in from Jackson. 
Nice uppercut. Frams and punches for an uppercut. Missed a few there. Nice uppercut there from Frampton and, up, uh, and the body shot. Jackson pushes him off and then throws a full punch combination. Frampton should try to body double left to the body. That combination just does not work. Jackson throws a, a straight one, two, three, four. But it doesn't work. His best shots, uh, Jackson, are to the body of Frampton. He should stick with that game plan. Get close, work Frampton's body. And if there are stamina issues, that's where you need to be working his body. Uh oh. Nice combination here from Jackson. Last 30 seconds. I'd like to see Jackson go to Frampton's body more. I really would. I think that's the strategy I'd be giving him. Double look with jab. And as for Frampton, I wouldn't be on the front foot anymore. Do you know what? I'd let Jackson come to me. If I'm Frampton, I'd let Jackson come to me. And as he comes in, I count him. Frampton should let to, look to counter uh, Jackson now. Because what's going to happen as Jackson, if Jackson's got the ambition to try and win this fight, he's going to try and come forward. This is a perfect time to switch from attack to defense. Go to on the counter. Let Jackson come at me and counter him. Nice, hard right hands. Body shots there. Good body shots there from Jackson. It's a good round for Jackson, actually. I don't know if you want it, but it was a good round for him. Bad corner for Jackson. He's going to wake up at 7, 8, 7 a.m. I'm going to wake up at 7. Jackson's got a game plan. He's frank and tiring. Not sure. Yeah, I'm through the night tonight. After this, I'll be watching Bright Jennings fight against Dimitrenko. So I'm looking forward to that as well. This is round 8 of a 12-rounder. What I've seen here, I nice saw a combination here from Luke Jackson. What I've seen here is I don't see, I don't see, I like Frampton. I can't see him beating um, Josh Warrington, though. Truth be said. Frampton looks really wants to get stuck into whacking body shots into Jackson. But he's just doing it with just no care for his own defense. And you know, the thing is, when Frampton does these things, he leaves himself open to the body all the time. Frampton tries to stick to the body again. Nice combination here from Jackson. Throws a good straight right hand there. Frampton is so reckless. He made Jackson miss there. Uh, he allow him. A man with such short arms. He make you miss so much. I don't get this, man. Just levels to the game, as always. Another body shot there from Frampton. I'm sorry tonight, people, that the fights have not been exciting, but both fights tonight have been pretty pedestrian. What do you think, Gallagher? It's all right. Tell you, get the tank on Warrington. Not much, to be honest. Oh, nice combination there from Luke Jackson. Frampton developed some bad habits. And I don't understand why no pro fighters taking advantage. Good left hook. Oh, good shot there from Frampton. Jackson was trading and Frampton dug a good shot in. Yeah, keep working the body. Keep working the body. 
and Luke Jackson is gasping for air now. Here comes Frampton. He's got that one punch sort of power like that can that can drop you. Round eight. So he's still got power featherweight. Here comes Frampton. Sixty seconds to go. You're gonna plant another body shot on Frampton. Looking to put a body shot on here. It's all sloppy from Frampton at the moment. Can't land that body shot yet. There we go. Good straight right hand there from Frampton. And an uppercut. And the bell goes. And Luke Jacks will just make it back to the corner. Yep, Frampton's still got that power. Nice shot. Let's see it again. Body shot. Beautiful shot. Beautiful left up to the body. Look at that shot all night. Ingram, tell a joke or say something controversial. It's far too boring. I'm starting to fall asleep. You? You're starting to fall asleep. Have you ever considered anyone apart from yourself? Because if you're starting to fall asleep, God knows how I must be feeling. And I have to commentate on this crap. So, this is where... Let's talk... I mean, we've got to start talking Frampton Warrington because that fight's going to happen. And I'm sorry... I don't see. I like Frampton. I don't see him beating Warrington. I'm sorry. Only oh, interesting for it's few to you. I'm so glad he's back in the ring. Sure, we got to get behind him. He's reaching for great things. Have to give him that. Agreed. Respect Ingram says Maradona. Frampton air uh, round eight. My good lord. You know. It's a joy to commentate on boxing. I see that now. But when there's absolute garbage on, all the fights are garbage. All the, the, there's no sort of moment, there's no momentum in a fight. I can't make things up. I could kind of go epic. Should I try and go epic? Should we try and make this epic? Because it's a damn boring ass fight. Should we try and make it epic? Should we try? All right. Let's make it epic. This is round nine. Try and make it epic now. Frampton coming forward. Frampton doubling up with hooks to the body. Jackson backing up. Frampton moving forward. The Jackal. The Jackal is in total control of this fight. After having dropped ja Jackson in the night in the eighth. This is the ninth now. Frampton in full control. And Jackson looks in trouble again. Combination. And Jackson pulls away. And the Referee pulls, throws in, the towel's been thrown in, and the fight is over. Well, see, I should have done it earlier, shouldn't I? Should have made it epic, should have done it for a million, shouldn't I? Frampton has just stopped um, Luke Jackson. Stops Luke Jackson. A nice win for, for Frampton. Again, workmanlike. Uh, I guess Warrington's obviously the fight that people are going to look forward to him fighting. But that'd be a good fight, him and Warrington. But I think Warrington's going to be. I think Warrington's going to be too much for him. His work rate's going to be too much for Frampton. I really do. Because I saw that Quig fight, and I thought to myself, when Quig started backing up Frampton, it was a different fight. Eddie Hearn fights. To Frank Warren, Hearn wins. That's it. Well, Frampton wins tonight, and Luke Jackson wins. Um, I think that's it from us. Absolutely, there's <laughs> ain't not much more to talk about here. I think we need to look further into uh, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. That's it from D uh, BWTM Sports. We'll be back. In a few moments to talk fury wilder and all that good stuff don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course round for round boxing www.roundforroundboxing.com and three kings boxing for all the latest breaking news in world boxing check out three kings boxing www.threekingsboxing.com thank you all for listening in i'll be back with a post fight straight afterwards.